Hello everyone and welcome to another random bits and pieces segment from my brain and today sit a while for we are playing some more franchise key manager 6 as part of the Ottawa Senators so um, in the last episode we did pretty good again uh, got a few losses in December but overall we still did pretty good and we are 16 points ahead of the Washington Capitals atop the Eastern Conference standings. We have no injuries. Uh, I checked who was available on tr the trading block. There wasn't much that was very interesting. Uh, so I am not attempting any trades right now. Uh, the team's doing pretty good anyway. Uh, I might be lacking a little bit of depth, but that's a. Uh, that's a risk we're gonna have to take right now. I am not going to overpay for players that are lesser than what I have right now. So we are about to tackle yet another calendar year. Uh, so now the calendar flipped to 2005 and we are in January, of course. So we are going to get started here. Uh, looks like it's gonna be somewhat of a busy month. So get ready. Uh, Eugene Melnick is still very happy with me, so that's good, that's good. I mentioned it before, you usually want the the boss to like you. True pretty much for any job you're gonna work. Alright, Jerome McGinley extends his point streak. 216 games with a goal against St. Louis. However, he didn't get an assist, so his assist streak ended at 9 games. Yann Laperriere extends his goal streak to 5 games with a goal and an assist in that same game. Yann Laperriere plays for St. Louis, though, so against Dallas there. Oh, there might be a coaching change with the Islanders who are 13, 22, and 4, so they're struggling. So Ted Nolan might be looking for a job elsewhere. Alright, we are about to play at home against the Atlanta Trashers. So we're 1 0 against the Trashers this year uh, with a 4 1 win in Atlanta. Uh, that was near the end of the video, I believe. Um, now, Atlanta 17, 18, and 5, so they're kind of overing around that 500 mark. That's good for 9th in the East right now. So let's see if we can beat them again, this time at home. So former Ottawa Senator Mike Dunham is going to be in net for the Trashers. Ryan Miller is going to be in net for the Sens. Go Sens, go! And we won 6-1. to one. They maybe should have kept Danny Eatley. So we outshot the Trashers 56-16. to 16. Marianosa was the first star. Now keep in mind, I kept Marianosa. He plays for the Sens, not for the Trashers. So Marianosa was the first star. He had two goals and an assist. Pavel Detsuk was the second star with a goal and two assists. And Jason Spezza was the third star with three assists. So Anton Volchenkov opened up the scoring in the first period, uh, uh, assisted by Daniel Alfredson and Patrick Eliash. So it was 1-0 Sands after 1. Then in the second period, Marianosa scored his 20th on the power play from Jason Spezza and Zdeno Shara, made it 2-0. And then Ilya Kovalchuk also scored his 20th on the power play to make it 2-1 Sens in the second. Uh, but shortly after, Marianosa scored again from Anton Volchenkov and Pavel Datsyuk. It was 3-1 Sens after 2. And then we would score three more goals in the third period. Pavel Datsyuk scored from Jason Spezza and Marianosa. Then, then Tim Gleason scored shorthanded from Mike Fisher and Brian McCabe. And Gleason scored again from Pavel Datsyuk and Jason Spezza. It was 6-1 to one at that point, And there was only 1.33 to go left in the third period. So obviously we won this game. Right, Curtis Brown and Dan Tribble are available. I am not picking them up. 
Eric Lindros has a good game. He had four assists against Toronto. Ooh, Lindros is only a star and a half anymore. 31 years old. Uh, Matt Bradley suspension ended. Uh, so he is back in the lineup. Matthew Schneider has a memorable game with Montreal. He had four assists against the Florida Panthers. Ooh, so it actually happened, ladies and gentlemen. Scotty Bowman was fired. Wow. So I guess Pittsburgh wasn't able to put uh, the team back on track. They are 10-21-7. So they fired Scotty Bowman and uh, replaced him with Kevin Constantine, is now the coach in Pittsburgh. Jerome Iginla extends this point streak to 17 games with a goal and an assist against Chicago. And Scott Walker is back in the lineup for Dallas. Wow, Scotty Bowman is looking for employment. All right, so we are already playing again. Oh, dear God, they're terrible. <laughs> so we are about to play at home against the Florida Panthers. Um, we are 3-0 against the Panthers. The Panthers are 4-32-4. They're about to become even worse than the real-life 1992 Ottawa Senators at that point. This is terrible. All right. So we're going to go ahead and go with some Thomas and Net. They're sending John Graham. Go, sends go. And we won 3-1. to so we outshot the Panthers 48 to 8. Alexey Yashin was the first star of that game. He had a goal and two assists. Artem Shubarov was the second star with a goal, and Patrick Elyash was the third star with two assists. We had 14,122 people in attendance for that game. So Zdeno Shara scored first in the first period. It was on the power play from Patrick Elyash and Alexey Yashin. One nothing sense after one. Then in the second period, we had Mariano Osa scoring also on the power play from Alexey Yashin and Jason Spezza. It was 2 nothing Suns after 2. Then in the third period, Artem Shubarov scored his first, made it 2-1 to Suns and gave some hope to his team. But about, 16, uh, about 10 minutes later, sorry, uh, Alexey Yashin scored from Anton Volchenkov and Patrick Elyash, made it 3-1. to And that was good enough for the Suns to run away with this win. All right, Ian Moran is available in New Jersey. I am not going to pick him up. Wow, that's a high salary for an alpha star player that had nine points last year. Uh, Luke Richardson is back from suspension in Edmonton, so good for him. All right, Chris O'Sullivan is available, and Alexei Bulatov not picking either. Colorado's Owen Nolan is suspended. He's going to miss four games. Brian Rolston's point streak ended at 15 games with no points in that game against Colorado. Andrew Hutchinson is back from suspension in Pittsburgh. That's good. Good game for Petrus Bergeron, 19-year-old Petrus Bergeron. He had three goals and two assists against the Rangers. Jerome McGinley extends this point streak to 18 games with an assist against the Flames of all teams. The team he, mo he played for most of his career in real life. And we are about to play against the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, we are 2-0 oh against Buffalo. And Buffalo is 20-18-2. And, and that's good for 8 in the East. So uh, they would be who we would be facing in the playoffs if the playoffs were to start right now. So let's see if we can beat them again. They are sending Martin Biron in net. And we are going to Ryan Miller. And we won for nothing. So a shout out for the Sens and Ryan Miller. We outshot Buffalo 54 to 13. Zdeno Shara was the first star of that game. He had three assists. Joe Thornton was the second star with two assists. And Alexey Yashin was the third star with two goals. 
15,211 people in attendance. So Marian Rosa scored the first game of the game, the first goal of the game rather, from Joe Thornton and Zdeno Shara, made it 1-0. Then Alexi Yashin scored from Shara and Chris Kelly, it was 2-0 Sands after 1. And then in the second period, Alexi Yashin scored his 10th from Zdeno Shara, made it 3 0. And then Marian Osa from Joe Thornton made it 4 0. Nobody would score in the third period for either team, and 4 0 was the final score. Big game for Rob DeMaio, who had four assists in a 6 6 tie against Chicago, and in that same game, Duncan Keith had a hat trick three goals. Suspension for Vancouver's Trevor Linden is over, so Linden, uh, sorry, he is being suspended rather, and he is going to be suspended for six games. I got confused because I'm pretty sure that in the last video, Linden got suspended. So, six games this time. Alright, Eve Sago is available on waivers, I'm not gonna pick him up. Yeah, we're reaching the point where players are paid a pretty high salary for being alpha star players and I am not interested. In the so there was no stopping Timu Selani, who had a hat-trick against Anaheim, three goals. Suspension over for Steve Ruchin and Anaheim, back in the lineup. All right. Oh, there's been a trade. So Kent Manderville and Nathan McIver are going to the Sharks in exchange for Alexander Kavanov. So Kavanov goes to the Canucks. And Kent Manderville and Nathan McIver are going to the Sharks. Yeah, I think the I think the Canucks got the upper hand in that trade, which is odd given their their record and everything that they went and got I guess I guess Kavanov is one year younger than Kent Manderville. Still kind of an odd trade to me. Right, we are about to play the Carolina Hurricanes at home. So last time we played the Hurricanes at home, it was a 0-0 tie, which don't happen very often. And then we played against Carolina in Carolina and beat them 3-0. So now we're back at home against them. Carolina is 17-12-9, which is good for 7th in the East. We are going to face Sean Burke in net, and we are sending Ryan Miller. And we won 5 to 1. We outshot the Hurricanes 56 to 9. Jason Spezza was the first star of that game. He had three assists. Alexi Yashin was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Marianosa was the third star with two goals. 16,119 people in attendance for that game. And the Hurricanes actually scored the first goal of the game 59 seconds into the first period. It was Radek Dvorak that scored, made it 1 0 Carolina. But shortly after, Anton Volchenkov would score from Daniel Alfredson and Jason Spezza, made it 1 1. And then Alexi Yashin from Martin Avlet and Joe Thornton made it 2 1. And then Marianosa is 25th on the power play from Jason Spezza and Patrick Eliash, 3 1 sends after 1. In the second period, we have Marianosa scoring on the power play from Jason Spezza and Alexi Yashin made it 4 1. And finally, in the third period, Pavel Datsyuk scored short-handed from Sheldon Surrey and Matt Cullen, made it 5-1 to one Sens. And of course, that's how we won. Oh, and that game was Andrew Castles 1000th in his career, didn't get a point to celebrate. Till. So Andrew Castles is now 35 years old and he's a two-star player. Is he having a good season? Uh, not too bad. 22 points in 33 games. That's decent, I guess. Alright, we are about to go and play in the Big Apple against the Rangers. 
Jerome McGinley's point streak ended at 18 games, so no points against the Red Wings. All right, New Jersey's uh, Dave, Darren Quint is suspended. He's going to miss seven games. Ooh. Vincent Le Cavalier in Tampa Bay had Cox's dislocation uh, that he sustained during practice, and he will miss three weeks. That's not good for Tampa Bay, who are already not very good, and now they've lost pretty much their best player. All right, and now we are going to go in New York and play against the Rangers. We are 1-0-1 against the Rangers. Last game was a 3-3 tie against them. It's going to be our first visit uh, at the Rangers Arena in Madison Square Garden. Uh, and they are 15, 22, and 5, which is good for 12, 10 the East, so not going all that great in New York. Larry Brooks must not be happy. All right, so Ryan Miller in net for us, and Henrik Lundqvist in net for the Rangers. And we won 3 to 1. We outshot the Rangers 41 to 17. Jason Spitzer was the first star of the game. He had two goals and an assist. And Rick Lundquist was a second star with 38 saves. And Ryan Callan has now shown up in the sim. And he was the third star with an assist. Uh, let's see here. So there was no scoring in the first period, and then in the second period, Jason Spez opened up the scoring on the power play from Patrick Eliash and Marianosa, and then the Rangers scored after that, so it was tied at 1 after 2. And then in the third period, Jason Spez scored from Joe Thornton, and then late in the third period, Joe Thornton scored in an empty net from Pavel Datsuk and Jason Spez. 3-1 to one is the final score. Uh-oh. Oh, no, that's not good. So I lost two players in that game. I lost Sheldon, Surrey, and Mariano, so I cannot afford to lose either. So Surrey is gone for four weeks. Yikes. With a broken toe. And Osa is gone for three weeks with a dislocated shoulder. Ouch. So, yeah, that's not good. All right, so Surrey is going on the injured reserve. And so is Marianosa. Yikes. All right, so I need a defenseman and a forward. So Kenta Skins has 10 points in 30 games. Kellinen 9 in 29. Schubert 1 in 29. And Derek Morris. Let's bring Derek Morris back up. Let's give him a, a shot here. I need a guy that plays the right side. So let's bring him. All right, now for the forward, I have Brooks Like, who has 19 points. Nidoros has 9. Denis Arkhipov has 19 as well. 18, 17, 12, and 12. I think it's time to bring Chris Neal up. Oh... Good night for Yarmir Jagger, who had uh, three goals and two assists against Philadelphia. Pretty good. Glenn Murray has tallied 300 goals um, in his career with a goal and an assist against New Jersey. Oh, God. And now Daniel Alfredson is out day-to-day -day, uh, as a result of sore hamstring during practice. 
What is going on? Everybody's hurt at the same time. All right. At least we have a couple days here. Oh, there's been a trade between Phoenix and Detroit. So, oh, Phoenix picks up Vincent Danfous from Detroit and Detroit gets Stu Barnes. Interesting trade. So Stu Barnes is a one star and a half player and Vincent Danfous is a one star and a half player as well. So Danfous had 23 points, Stu Barnes had nine. Interesting. So Phoenix now has Vincent Anfous. John Muckler's job on the line. He is still the head coach in Buffalo, so he might be losing his job. Buffalo is 20, 22, and 2. So they've been sliding since they played against us. All right, we are about to play the Chicago Blackhawks at home. Um... Let's see here. So Chicago's not doing too good. They are 12, 20, and 9. So that's not great. Let's take a look at their lineup. That's the first time we're playing them this year. No injuries that I can see. That team is old. A lot of forwards are like 35 and 36, apparently. So let's see here. So in net, it's Corey Crawford and Scott Clemenson. On D, they have a very aging Steve Duchesne at 39 years old. Duncan Keat, Kim Janssen, Brent Seabrook, Chris Chelios, the undying. He's 42 and still a five-star player. And Numelin and DJ Smith uh, are on D. Tuomo Rutu, Metter, Morrow, Tim Taylor, Richie Hendrickson, Slater, Ronick, Nordstrom, Donald Odette. Dowd, Fitzgerald, Cleary, and Jones at forward. Wow. That team has a has decent D. The D is decent. The goaltending, not too bad. But the forwards are not that great. Let's see if we can beat the Chicago Blackhawks. And we won 5-3. Sorry, it was Scott Clemenson and Net for Chicago and Ryan Miller for us. I kind of missed that. Uh, we outshot Chicago 47 to 11. Jason Spezza was the first star of the game. He had a goal and three assists. Then Donald Udet was the second star with a goal. And Brian McCabe was the third star with a goal and assist. Uh, it was at home, so we had 15,666 people in attendance. So Chicago scored first in the first period, made it 1 0, but then Michael Ryder scored on the power play from Jason Spezza. And then Jason Spezza scored his 25th on the power play from Michael Ryder and Alexei Yashin. It was 2 to 1 cents after 1. Now, I'm sorry if you're hearing noise in the background, as usual. It is my neighbor's truck that is ridiculously loud and he has a tendency to start it when I am recording for whatever reason. It's like he has bugs in my room or something, and he's like, oh! He is recording. I'm gonna go and ruin that with my truck from the 1800s. All right. So in the second period, uh, Derek Morris scored in his first game back. So welcome back, Derek Morris, from Jason Spezza and Brian McCabe. And then Brian McCabe scored from Jason Spezza and Pavel Datsyuk. It was 41 cents after two. Then in the third period, the Blackhawks came to within one. They scored two uh, fairly quick goals and made it 4-3. But finally, Tim Gleason scored in an empty net. And it was assisted by Patrick Elias and Joe Thornton. And 5-3 was the final score. And in that game, Jeremy Roenick got suspended. He is going to miss eight games. Wow. And we have another injury. Why not? Day-to-day uh, -day injury to Patrick Eliash. Uh, mild scalp strain. Well, we have our we have our world cut out for us. So we have no more spares at uh, forward. We cannot lose one more without putting one on injured reserve. 
So Alfred's son or Eliash is going to need to come back soon. Memorable night for Joe Sakic, who had four assists against Washington. Owen Nolan is back from suspension in Colorado. The red light stays on for Tony Amante, who still plays in New Jersey. He was traded pretty early in my sim, and he's still there. Uh, he had three goals and an assist against Montreal. Winnie Mitchell suspension ends, so he is back in the lineup with the Flyers. All right, and we are now playing in Atlanta. So we've played the Trashers uh, a couple times already. We've beat them uh, both times. The Trashers are now 18, 21, and 5, which is good for 10th in the East. Let's see if we can beat them again. We're sending Tim Thomas in net for that one. They are going with Mike Dunham. And we actually lost 3-1 to one in that one. So the Trashers have beat, uh, beaten us. They actually outshot us 39-32. to 32. So now with a depleted lineup, I'm starting to uh, not play as well. Derek Armstrong was the first star of the game. He had two assists. Michael Ryder was the second star with an assist. And Ilya Kovalchuk was the third star with a goal and an assist. Uh, the Trashers took a 2 nothing lead into the first period. And then in the second period, we had Alexey Yashin score on the power play from Michael Ryder and Jason Spezza. It was 2-1 uh, Trashers at that point. And then Kovalchuk scored a minute 39 seconds later, made it 3-1. We never could come back in that game. Uh, we have three of our top six forwards injured and not playing. Uh, so it's starting to catch up to us. All right, and now we have a couple days again between games, so hopefully, uh, hopefully a guy like uh, Alfredson can come back or something. Mighty Ducks coaching job in jeopardy. Paul Ongren might lose his job. Ooh, Anaheim is also not doing very good. They are nine thirty-four and two. Good night for Marek Zidlicki in Nashville. He had three goals and an assist against the Kings. Jeff Sanderson has arrived to a thousand games in his career. Didn't get a point though, and it was against Tampa Bay. No one could stop Bill Guerin, so former Ottawa Senator Bill Guerin now plays for Columbus. He had a hat trick three goals against the Kings. And Daniel Alfredson might be ahead of schedule. I hope that means, yeah, he's he's a, he's available to play. Doesn't mean he will, but he is available to play the next game, which is at home against the Pittsburgh Penguins. So, for the first time since we have started the sim, uh, 90. 97 episodes ago uh, we are facing a Pittsburgh Penguin team that is not coached by Scotty Bowman so that is new we are 2-0 against the Pittsburgh Penguins this year uh, they are struggling as we know they are 13 24 and 7 that's good for 13th in the East of course they are about to get some uh, reinforcements in the name of Sidney Crosby. So Wade the Billwicks in net for Pittsburgh. We are sending Ryan Miller. And we won 5 to 1. Ooh, we outshot Pittsburgh 66 to 19 in that one. Joe Thornton was the first star of the game. He had a goal and an assist. Chris Kelly was the second star with two assists. Zdeno Oshara was the third star with a goal, and in Ottawa for this game, there were 15,356 people in attendance. So Pittsburgh scored first, it was Yevgeny Malkin that scored his third of the season, but then eight seconds later, Adam Denmarsh tied the game from Alexey Yashin. So it was tied at one after one. Then in the second period, we took a serious option on the game. 
with uh, Brian McCabe scoring his fifth on the power play from Daniel Alfredson and Alexei Yashin. Then Matt Cullen scored from Anton Volchenkov and Chris Neal. Zden Oshara scored from Joe Thornton and Chris Kelly. And finally, Joe Thornton from Chris Kelly. It was 5 to 1 Suns after 2. And that was the final score. Drake Berehowski and Brad Chartrand are available and not gonna be picked up by me. Joe Newendike has recorded 750 assists in his career, some of the which were obtained as playing for the Ottawa Senators. Uh, so he had a goal and an assist against Florida. Dynamic passing leads to products of night for Victor Ubel with the Islanders who had a goal and four assists against the Bruins. Patrick Eliash back soon. Daniel Alfredson back soon. Alright, hey, we have a couple days before we play the Islanders. Good night for Chris Clark, who had three goals and an assist against Tampa Bay. Yeah, it is pretty good. Alright, so my injured guys are doing alright. Next game on Long Island against the Islanders. Suspension over for Trevor Linden for real this time. Uh, so he is back in the lineup in Vancouver. Eric Desjardins in Montreal is suspended. He's going to miss six games. Scott Hannon is hurt in San Jose. He's going to miss four months. Yeah, four months with torn ankle ligaments. Patrick Eliash says that he is ready to come back, and so is Daniel Alfredson, so that's good. And we have a trade proposal from the Carolina Hurricanes, who want to trade me Joseph Boumedien for Mike Fisher, and I say, yeah, right. Alright, we are about to play the Islanders, so the Islanders are also not doing too hot. They are 17-26-4, that's good for 12th in the East. Uh, we are 2-0 against the Islanders this year. Let's see if we can beat them again. Ryan Miller in net for the Ottawa Senators, Roberto Luongo in net for the Islanders. And the Ottawa Senators win by shootout, shutout for nothing. We outshot the Islanders 52-23. Jason Spezzo was the first star with a hat-trick three goals. Joe Thornton was the second star with two assists. And Pavel Datuk was the third star with an assist. Um, let's see. So Jason Spezzo scored 13 seconds into the game. It was assisted by Tim Gleason and Joe Thornton. And then Spezza scored again on the power play from Zden Oshar and Michael Ryder, 2 nothing sends after 1. And then in the second period, Jason Spezza completed his hat-trick from Joe Thornton and Pavel Datsyuk. It was 3 nothing. And finally, Alexei Yashin scored from Chris Kelly and Derek Morris. 4 nothing was the final score. And of course, a red light stays on for Jason Spezza. So... As we know, he was a, he had a hat trick, and Jason Spezza converts to right wing. I'm not sure I like that, but okay. All right, Jason Spezza plays right wing now, apparently. Oh wow, we are about to play the Devils, and it's going to be our first meeting against them this year. In a few days, not now. Andre Savage is available on waivers, not picking him up. Sergei Fedorov has recorded a thousand games in his career and he celebrated with two assists against Chicago. Fedorov is still a three and a half star player at 35, that's pretty decent. Jerome Ginla has a strong game, he had a goal and four assists against the Kings. Wow, that's a couple players this month that have had good games against the Kings, it seems like. Dion Phaneuf in Calgary is suspended, he's going to miss five games. Josh Langfeld in Carolina is also suspended. He's going to miss seven games. All 
Alright, Jan Vopat is available. I am not picking him up. Trevor Linden has tallied 1,250 games played in the NHL. Didn't get a point, and it happened against the Nashville Predators. No one could stop V. Peltonen of the Islanders. He had a hat trick three goals against Pittsburgh. All right, so we are about to play the New Jersey Devils for the first time uh, this season, which is kind of late. We are in January already, uh, and it's an Eastern uh, Eastern opponent, so that's kind of odd, but it's okay. So the Devils are doing really good. They are 30, 14, and 2. They're probably doing really good because they haven't played us yet. Uh, so that's good for second in the East. Let's take a look. They probably have a five-star goaltender, I feel like. Oh, look at that. I called it. Martin Brodeur. All right, 32 years old. Martin Brodeur is still a five-star goaltender in the league. Brent Johnson is the backup. Uh, Jason Kalimore, Rigiru, Paul Martin, Scott Niedermeyer, Darren Quint, who is suspended, won't play. Ian Moran, Mike Commodore, Brian Rafalski. So there's some decent pieces on D for sure. Uh, Gianta Parisi, Claude Lemieux, Antoine Vermette, Brian Savage. Junior Van Dyke, John Madden, Scott Gomez, Tony Amante, uh, Barry Taxon, Brian Rolston, Peter Sicker, and Ronald Petrovicki. So it is a pretty good team, uh, all in all. Pretty solid team. They definitely can beat us. Alright, Ryan Miller in net for the Sens. Brent Johnson in net for New Jersey, so they're not sending Brother against us. And we won 7-5. to five. Wow, that was a pretty offensive game. We outshot New Jersey 45-26. to 26. Jason Spezza was the first star of that game. He had three goals into the... He's been the first star a lot. Uh, I have a feeling he might win the Player of the Month award. Anyway, he had three goals and two assists. Uh, Ron Petraviki was the second star with two assists. And Zdeno Sharwa was the third star with a goal and an assist. Um... Derek Morris opened up the scoring in the first period uh, from Pavel Datsyuk and Zdeno Oshara made it 1-0. Then in the second period, Scott Gomez scored a uh, couple goals, made it 2-1 New Jersey, but then we scored two goals. Jason Spezza from Alexey Yashin and Daniel Alfredson. And then Zdeno Oshara on the power play from Michael Ryder and Jason Spezza, 3-2 after two. And in the third period, we have uh, the Devils that scored two more goals, and it was 43 Devils. Then Jason Spezza scored his 30th on the power play, made it 4 4. Then Michael Ryder scored his 5th on the power play from Alexey Yashin and Jason Spezza, made it 5 4. Uh, Sands at that point. Then New Jersey scored 39 seconds later, made it 5-5, and then we scored two more goals. Pavel Datsyuk unassisted, and then Jason Spezza on the power play in an empty net to complete his hat-trick from Alexey Yashin and Patrick Elias. 7-5 was the final score. No one could stop Jason Spezza with three goals and two assists against New Jersey. And Darren Quint, after that game, is back from suspension. Now we are back at home to play against the Boston Bruins, so there's only four games left in January already. Passes on point for Adam Mayer uh, playing in San Jose. He had four assists against Chicago. Pretty good game. All right, and now we are playing at home against the Boston Bruins. Uh, we are 2-0-1 against the Bruins this year. Uh, right now, the Bruins are 23-22-4. That's good for 7th in the East. Tim Thomas in net for the Suns. Yevgeny Nabokov in net for Boston. And we won 2-1, so we had to work for that one. We outshot Boston 51 to 18. Yevgeny Nabokov was the first star of the game despite the loss. He had 49 saves. Ben Walter was the second star with an assist, and Joe Thornton was the third star with a goal. 
15,941 people in attendance for that game. Uh, Alexei Yashin opened up the scoring in the first period uh, on the power play from Zdeno Shara and Jason Spitza. And then Sandis Ozlinj tied the game before the end of the period. It was tied at 1. And that would stay all the way until the start of the third period, where 35 seconds in, Joe Thornton scored his 10th from Daniel Alfredson and Brian McCabe, and that was actually the game winner. 2-1 to one is the final score. Chris Neal improves at center, so uh, Chris Neal plays center and Jason Spezza plays the wing. What do you know? Alain Vigneault is... Uh, Trying stuff. I mean, we're winning. I can't really complain. That's just a little odd to me. Of course, having Marianosa hurt is probably messing things up as far as lineup goes. So, there's always that. Alright, good night for Denny Briere, who had three goals and an assist against Anaheim. And then big game for Andre Markov, who had five assists against Pittsburgh. All right, in a few days we're gonna be playing in Buffalo. Claude Lemieux has produced 900 points in his career. 39 years old, Pepe Lemieux. Uh, star and a half player, he had a goal against Atlanta. Scott Niedermeyer extends his goal streak to five games in that same game. He had a goal and an assist. Five straight games with a goal for Scott Niedermeyer, one of my favorite players to play the game. Alright, so... We are now playing in Buffalo. Looks like they have kind of turned things around just a little bit again. So they are now playing for 500. They are 24, 24, and 3. That's good for 7th in the East. We are 3 0 against the Sabres this year. They, it looks like they've won a little bit lately. We are exactly what they didn't need. Ryan Miller in net for the Suns. Dominic Kashik in net for the. Buffalo Sabres and we won to nothing we outshot Buffalo 45 to 20 Dominic Kashik was the first star despite the loss he had 43 saves Patrick Marleau former Ottawa Senator Patrick Marleau was the second star without any points and Pavel Datsuk was the third star with a goal Nobody scored in the first period, and it took a while in the second period even to get a goal, but Daniel Alfredson scored from Alexey Yashin and Brian McKay, made it 1-0. Then in the third period, Pavel Datsuk scored his 15th from Joe Thornton and Jason Spitza, made it 2 nothing. Sands, and of course that's the final score. Uh, Scott Niedermeyer extends his assist streak to 8 games with an assist against Detroit. Suspension for Steve Moore, who plays for Toronto now, is going to miss five games. In that same game, Eric Cole extended his goal streak to five games with a goal against Philadelphia. Brian Leach scored his 300th goal of his career against Carolina. Pretty good, 36 years old, three-star defenseman, so... Oleg Kavasho set up everything up tonight, uh, playing for the Rangers, he had four assists in that same game against Carolina. And in, still in that same game, uh, Alexei Kovlov uh, scored a hat-trick, three goals. Alright, and we are getting a trade proposal from the Calgary Flames who want to trade us Buba Berenswig for Vaclav Nidoros, and I'm going to say no thank you. All right, two games left here in the month of January 2005. Month that never happened in real life. All right, so Andre Zuzan, uh, playing now in Edmonton, has been put on waivers. I am not picking him up. Yarmir Jagger has reached 1,500 points in his career. That is pretty good. He had an assist against Florida. Uh, still a five-star player. All 
All right, and we are now playing in Minnesota against the Wild. Um, it's not going too well in Minnesota. They are 17, 30, and 5. It's our first meeting with them this year, so I'm going to go ahead and take a look at their lineup. All right, so they have one injury, which is Trent Klatt. Uh, injured, won't play this game. Patrick Lalim and Jose Theodore in net, so that's pretty good. Uh, Derek Walser, Magnus Ragnarsson, Marcus Ragnarsson, sorry. Uh, Mike Ratchie, Lawrence Nicolet, uh, Lubomir Sekurash, Brent Burns, Nick Schultz, Jason York on D. Uh, it's okay. Agman Greer, Arneson, Bulish, Ren Drury, Murray Comrie, Perpich, Alexander Day, Gaborik, Klatt, and Pierre Marc Bouchard. Ooh, Alexander Der Degg is now an Alpha Star player. So it has happened. Washed out before 30 years old. Alright, so yeah, we should be able to beat these guys. They're not very good. Goaltending is okay. Ryan Miller in net for the Sens. Jose Theodore in net for the Wild. And we won 2-1, the they made us work for it. We outshot them 53-14, to 14. Jose Theodore was the first star despite the loss. 51 saves, Marian Gabaric was the second star with a goal, and Pedel Datsuk was the third star with a goal as well. Uh, so Minnesota scored first in the first period. It was 1-0, and then in the second period we have Pavel Datsuk that tied the game from Derek Morris and Martin Avlat. And then Jason Spezza in the third period would score on the power play the game winner from Patrick Eliash and Zdeno Shar 2-1 the final score. Martin Point available playing for Anaheim, not picking him up. Scott Niedermeyer's assist streak ended at 8 games, he had a goal too against Columbus. Suspension over for Jeremy Roenick back in the lineup. Alright, and the last game of the month is uh, Open Us. Uh, we are playing the Toronto Maple Leafs. They are having a pretty good season. The Leafs are 31, 17, and 4. That's good for fourth in the East. And we are 2 and 1 against the Leafs this year. Uh, last time we played them at home, actually, they beat us to the 1. And this game is at home, so let's see if we can avenge that loss. Ty Conklin is going to be in net for Toronto. We are going to Ryan Miller. And we won 3 2 in overtime, so they made us work for it as well. We outshot the Leafs 42 22. Patrick Elias was the first star of the game. He had a goal and an assist. Ian White was the second star with an assist. And Joe Thornton was the third star with an assist as well. We had 14,269 people in attendance for that game. Uh, Toronto scored first in the first period, and then shortly after Martin Avlat scored his fifth from Chris Kelly and Tim Gleason, it was tied at one after one. Then in the second period, Alexey Yashin scored his fifteenth from Brian McCabe and Patrick Elias, made it two to one Sens after two. And in the third period, about midway in, Toronto tied the game for it was a goal from Alexey Ponikarovsky. And it was tied at two after three. And in overtime, Patrick Elias played the hero 247 in from Joe Thornton and Jason Spezza. 3 2 was the final score. And Patrick Elias is going to get hurt again uh, with an eye abrasion. So he's day to day. Not going to be able to play in, the f in future games. Oh, one to two weeks left, huh? Yikes. Well, Marian also might be... Uh, I don't like that. I'm going to just put him on injured reserve, play it safe, and then I'm going to get somebody else to come in. Brooks like 21 points. 13, 24. Let's get Denis Arkhipov. He has the most points. Uh, 
All right, so we need to click one more time to make it to uh, February 1st. Here we go. Ooh, lots of news. Uh, good night for Rick Nash, who had three goals and an assist against Tampa Bay. Pretty good. Scott Walker is suspended again in Dallas. He's going to miss three games. Scott Hartnell has a great game. That's a hat trick, three goals against Dallas. No further punishment for Jim Slater in Chicago, not suspended. Eric Desjardins is suspended, uh, is coming back from suspension in Montreal. All right, and Marian Rosa is about to come back. Uh, development report. Andre Mazaros looks like he's going to be ready soon. Oh, Chris Chelios signs for one more year in Chicago. Uh, 4.58 million for that year. Uh, I kind of called it, I guess. Um, Sorry, I muted my microphone to cough earlier and I it messed up the volume a little bit, so I've been kind of adjusting on the fly. Uh, so I kind of called it Ed Belfour and Jason Spezza are the players of the month, so I kind of called that Jason Spezza would be the offensive player of the month. And then Denis Arkhipov wants a number. He can have 25, that is fine. All right, so this is pretty much where we are at right now. Now let's take a look at the standings. So we are still first in the East. Now we have a 23 point lead on the Flyers. All right, did Florida win a game this year, uh, this month? Oh, they actually won seven. They changed something. I don't know what, but it's been working for them. They had four wins like that entire time, and now they have 11. Uh, actually, they might have had a winning month. Wow. All right, so uh, let's take a look at our stats. I think that Jason Spitz is going to look pretty good. He was already the best player in the league. Now he's at 80 points in 53 games. I think that he might get to 100. Hopefully he stays healthy and that happens. So Jason Spezzo has 80 points in 53 games. And then after that, nobody else has a point per game pace. Now to note, Alexey Yashin kind of uh, started to play better. Now he has 47 points in 53 games. Now remember, he started really slow the year. And I was even thinking about trading him. Uh, Thornton 46 and 53, Shara 40 and 53, Datsuk 38 and 53. Of course, yeah, I have a couple guys on injured reserve, so we don't know how many points those guys have because they don't show here. But uh, is there a way to show them through the filter. I don't think so. All right, so that's it for our stats. Oh, I didn't check in the West. Let's take a look in the West. All right, so in the West we have Detroit, that's first with 74 points. That's still 16 be uh, points behind us. Uh, Phoenix, Colorado, Edmonton, San Jose, Columbus, LA, and St. Louis. Okay. All right. Now let's take a look at the stats in the league. So the best goal scorer is still Danny Eatley, tied with Yarmir Jagger. So they both have 34 goals this season. Best passer is Jason Spezza with 48 assists. And most points is Jason Spezza with 80. That's 18 more than Jerome McGinley, who's second. So... That's pretty good. 
I don't always look at the, or very often look at the goalie leaders. 36 wins for Ryan Miller. He's first. Um, goals against average. Ryan Miller, 1.55. He's first. Shutouts, he has 10. He's first. So we're doing pretty good, all in all, of course, with a record of 43, 6, and 4. Uh, you know, you're going to do pretty good regardless. So I'm going to go ahead and save the game. And as usual, I want to thank you for tuning in. And if you've liked the video, feel free to like, uh, subscribe, sh share, comment, all of that good stuff. And until I roll this game again, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.